We're looking here at the WordPress.org homepage for our plugin. And you'll note that one of the things that's missing is a screenshots tab. That's because we haven't made any yet. So in this video, we're going to show both how to create screenshots and push them up, as well as update a file that's already been pushed up to our plugin. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the screenshot. On a Mac, I'm going to use Command Shift 4. And just do a box like this. You can use any method you want to take a screenshot. It just doesn't matter at all. The Mac puts them on the desktop when you shoot them that way. And you can see my screenshot there. Now we need to get this screenshot into your Assets folder of your SVN repo. You can use any method you want. You can use your file manager and drag it in there. You can copy it with a terminal, anything you want. I have mine here, but it can't be named like that. It has to have a very specific naming format. So I'm going to do it on the terminal, but you can use your file manager or anything you want. But it needs to be screenshot dash one dot whatever. I'm using a PNG. You could use a GIF. It doesn't matter. But the screenshot dash one is the important part. And now we need to edit our readme. And right here above usage, I'm going to put in screenshots. And I'm going to put in one dot. And then I'm going to put in a description of that screenshot that we took. Now here's how the relationships work. Because I now have this screenshots section in my readme, it's going to make a tab for it on the WordPress.org page. And then it's going to take this number one at the beginning of this line, and it's going to go look in my assets folder for that screenshot. So now I'm going to copy readme.txt into.org trunk. Now let's go back and look at the documentation and see where we stand. They want us to go into that folder and do SVN up. There we are. There's nothing new out at the other end. Now we edited README. They edited their plugin.php. But now let's do SVN stat. And it tells us we have one file that it doesn't know anything about. That's the question mark. And then we have a file that's been modified. So let's do SVN add assets screenshot dash one. And now SVN stat. Now it tells us we have one that's added and one that's modified. And you can see they modified theirs as well. If you want, you can use SVN diff and see what's been changed. We're not going to mess with that. But now we do an SVN CI, just like we did the very first time. Let me put in our password. There. Now it has pushed up our screenshot. Let's take a look here. It refreshes about every five minutes on the server side. So we might have to wait as much as five, but it could only be just a few more seconds. We'll check back in the next video.